What's up guys welcome to CR Entry Designers this is Chetan and in this Blender tutorial we are going to do the hard surface modeling so without further ado let's get started. To make the model we need to add a cube then go to the edit mode and then select this corner edges with the shift ctrl alt click and then ctrl b and then add a bevel on this edges. Give the proper bevel width and add one segment bevel at there. After that you need to add the center look cuts like this. Then select the words, right click, connect to vertex path and create a path in between the words. After that you need to add one more cube add there. So shift A add the cube and then scale it down that cube. And then take it little bit up along the Z axis and move it along the Y axis. Okay now you need to scale it down along the Y axis. Then you need to apply that scale. So control A and then apply that scale. And now you need to select this edges and control B and then add a bevel add there. Give the proper bevel width and add a 4 segment bevel add there. We need to merge the word so that's why you need to give the proper bevel width at there. After that select everything and press M and merge by distance. Increase the merging distance so we can merge the words easily. Okay now you need to select that bottom face and E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. Now just you need to rotate it into the 180 degree and then add a center loop cuts like this. Select the words right click connect to vertex path and create a path in between the words. Okay now you need to move this along the Z axis. And give the right position to it. Okay now you need to use the boolean operation which is difference. So select the boot object and use the boolean operation difference. Now you need to go to the edit mode select this inner faces and scale down this inner faces along the x y and then z axis and try to get a decent design add there. Then you need to select the words and then scale these words along the z axis and give the value 0 to make them flat along the z axis. Now just I want to create a decent design so that's why you can adjust the proportion of your model and you can give the right position to your booleans. Now set the transform pivot point to 3D cursor and then rotate it into the 90 degree. And use the boolean operation difference. And now you can apply both the boolean modifier. So apply both the boolean modifier and then you can delete the cutter objects. Now you can delete the one third of the model and you will get only these parts. We can use the mirror modifier to get the replica. Now you need to select these words and then control X to dissolve these words. These are the extra words, unnecessary words. You can see there are extra edges, so just control X to dissolve these edges. Okay. Select the top face and then scale it down along the Z axis. Then you need to use the knife tool and you need to create a right topology on the model. So just create a cut like this. And just try to create a right loop structure add there. You can see I can't dissolve this edge so that's why I need to create another edge add there so use the knife tool and create a cut like this. And then you can dissolve that edge and you can see here just select these faces and delete only faces and you will get one edge add there so delete that edge then select the words and then press F to fill the gap. And now you can add the loop cut like this but we are facing little bit of difficulty because of the double word. So select everything and press M and merge by distance. And then you can select that edge loop and you can scale that edge loop along the Y axis to make it straight along the Y axis. So we won't face more difficulty with the mirror modifier. And now we can add the loop cut like this. And then you need to use the knife tool here and you need to create a core based topology add there that supportive structure for the model. If you didn't watch the new features of the knife tool tutorial then link is in the i button so you can watch that tutorial because now the blender knife tool has become more powerful. So you can watch that tutorial so easily you can speed up your workflow with the knife tool. And then you can create a loop structure like this to support that mesh. So just use the knife tool and create that loop structure and select these words right click connect to vertex path and just give the right position to these words. And similar kind of loop structure you need to create at this side also. Okay now we can select the words right click connect to vertex path or we can use the knife tool add there to create a path in between the words. So that will be more easier for us because we don't need to use the H slide later on. So just use the knife tool, select these points and then create a cut like this. So 
so just try to create a chord based topology on the model so we won't face more difficulty okay now you can add the loop cut like this and we need to create the similar kind of loop structure from the outer side of that boolean so create that loop structure select these words and press m and merge at the center and then you can dissolve this edge repeat the same step to the another side also you can select these edges and you can use the double tap g for the edge slide so here also you need to do the same step you need to create a loop structure from the outer side of that boolean then you can add the subd modifier on the model and you can see we need to add the supportive loop cuts so just add those supportive loop cuts to maintain the form of the model and you can add the mirror modifier and take the symmetry along the x and y axis make sure your mirror modifier should be top of your subd modifier and now you can see we are getting the whole mesh at there so just select this edge loop and just move it along the y axis and make sure that clipping option should be on so now just you need to add the supporting loop cuts on the model to maintain that form and to get a decent design out of it then you can select the stop faces and then you can use the small insert operation at there to create a loop structure at there so use the insert operation and press the b key on your keyboard to avoid the border and then you can use the insert operation like this 